What makes me different from other jewelry designers? Well, first of all, when I first started making jewelry, <laughs> like, not like when I first first started, because I've been a jewelry designer, or I started making jewelry as a child. So back then, there wasn't like a lot of computers and stuff around, so I never got to see other people's work. But once I started designing jewelry, when I started my jewelry business almost five years ago, Queen Jordy's gems! <laughs> okay, so once I started my jewelry business, um, I did like a little bit of market research before and I saw like a, a lot of other jewelry designers and I love their work but something that like low-key intimidated me was the fact that their work was like hella symmetrical and super balanced and just perfect you know and after like a little bit probably like over a year maybe two years of having my jewelry business i got into like wire wrapping i just randomly bought some wires and decided that i was going to teach myself how to wrap gemstones and how to make like different types of jewelry and the more I looked at other people's stuff, or I've watched a couple YouTube videos that teach you how to, like, wrap different stones. And, oh, my God, for some reason, I just couldn't. Like, if I were to sit down and measure out, like, a bunch of measurements and try to make everything the same, not that anything is wrong with that. If that's how you create, that's your magic. But for me, damn, that's just something that's just not me. And I realized that pretty early on. <laughs> I realized that. So I would describe my art, my jewelry designs as more like free spirited pieces. Just like how you look at a painting and you see like just abstract patterns, different colors, but it all comes together to form like a cohesive little, maybe cohesive isn't the right word. It just sounded like it would sound good, but <laughs> uh, anyways. Yes, like when you look at like a random piece of art and it's so beautiful but just so crazy, you're like, why is this even, hmm. And then it makes you think, you look at it and try to like interpret what this may look like or what it reminds you of and it makes you think, it makes you feel something. To me, like that's what art should do. And it's not about, like, perfection in a sense where it has to be just, I don't even know how to explain it. But, like, the word conformity comes to my mind. Like, it doesn't have to conform to what society thinks that jewelry is supposed to be. Like, I love, I live life outside the box. For sure <laughs> I love living outside of the box and I would definitely say my creative pieces were definitely designed outside the box <laughs> I have so much fun creating sometimes I draw sketches of what I like my pieces to be but most times like I just enjoy just picking up a thing with wire and my tools and I'll just sit down and just start creating and whatever pops up, pops up. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm about to create and 
that's my favorite part of the process because uh, it just feels so fresh and so new each time. So I love when customers give me creative freedom because it's like, wow, you're allowing me to just do anything for you. But I'm going to choose to do something so beautiful and I want you to love it. So I tap into your energy or based on what I can pick up about you, I am going to do something that I know you would probably love. (laughs) And then I think of how I can make it the most beautiful piece you've ever owned in your life. And I just sit down and I'm like, wow, I freaking love this. I love what I do. I love, love being a jewelry designer. And I love being different. I don't try to be like anyone else. And it took me a long time to accept me for me. But now, I love me some me. It's me for me. Ah. <laughs> oh. But anyways, I was literally up doing my homework and I was like, damn, I just had this message on my heart. And I'm like, you know what? I'm starting a jewelry designing podcast. I think I'm probably going to put this on YouTube to start out, though, because why not? Anyways, it's Jordy, your favorite jewelry designer with Queen Jordy's Gems, the dopest jewelry brand you know. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. I love you guys. And remember that you can do anything you put your mind to. You got this. Just try to have some fun with it. Like, don't let your life just be boring. (laughs) Bye.